Namaste to all viewers. After much chasing, I finally have Swati Prasad with me. The last time we shot videos was in July and uh, early August, where we spoke a lot about the talismans and the pujas that we have done for him and how it has benefited him. Today, I have him to talk about his passion, charity, and how charity changed his life and how it is altering karma because he is deeply studying the concept and the fact of karma. So let us hear it from him. Uh, first of all, thank you Swati for joining us. Thank you too. Thank you too. And uh, thank you for your time and uh, definitely today I really look forward to hearing all the insights mm -hmm. that you have gathered uh, through your charitable journey. Right. Yeah. So tell me what happened in 2014 that you know you, you had to go through this route of charity. What convinced you for this? Uh, it's not specifically 2014. Since my childhood, I was so much, you know, I always used to feel sad when I look at beggars and people who are suffering, okay. struggling. So that part was, you know, in my blood from the beginning. But then, you know, at that time, you know, we don't have money. We want help, but we don't have money. Correct. And, you know, but I always had that fire, you know, once I start earning, I have to help a lot. So that deep desire was there since the beginning. And then time passed and uh, in 2014, it was related to a professional uh, you know, uh, magic uh, that happened. So, you know, uh, the uh, Nadi astrology that, you know, so I had sought them and, uh, you know, they had asked me to go to a few temples uh, in Kumbakonam. Right. So that is a uh, circle, you know, I was, I did all my schooling in my childhood days in Kumbakonam and then again, you know, Karma uh, took me back there, which was nostalgic. It was fantastic. So my initial thing was only to go to temple. Okay. They asked me to go to temple. So, you know, to grow bigger in uh, career. <laughs> So I went there and, uh, you know, once I went there, the deep desire, the subconscious uh, desire I had to help a lot of people, it, it just opened up. Because when I went there, there were a lot of beggars, very genuine, uh, you know, we, we call them Yasagas. So there were beggars, there were a lot of, uh, you know, uh, the beggars of all ages, some wanting money, some wanting food. And okay, which is when I started, uh, you know, uh, started giving them. What would you do? Like give money or food? I'll buy them food and water bottle and uh, money also. It's not always they want food. Some might be full, yeah. there could be somebody else, you know, uh, who, have, who would have given them a food and they will show, see I have food, please give me something else. So probably give them money so they can buy something in the evening or anything, something like that, cool drinks bottle or, or a biscuit. It depends, you know, instinctively you will know what okay. they want. Usually it's food and water bottle and then, uh, you know, otherwise best thing is to give money. And uh, the, the more I started, the, that full trip, uh, like, you know, it was three to four days and I gave a lot of charity, donation to all these people, you know, took them all to a hotel, inside a hotel, got them all heavy meals and then evening parcel. I, I don't know why it just, it was waiting, right, because I didn't have money. And then all of a sudden, this uh, hard door just opened when I went to the trip. And then I uh, gave them a lot, came back with such a soul satisfaction that, you know, that, that nothing can give me. And uh, honestly, I got a dream of getting a, you know, a great dream job with excellent remuneration. The fifth day I came to my home. So within a month, I got a fantastic offer. And this will sound like coincidence, but you know, the moment I gave charity and came instinctively, I was told, you know, the amount of uh, donation you have done has reduced the karma big time. How did you get this prompt? To do. No, 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 that uh, it has reduced karma, some inner feeling. The dream, the dream. Dream. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. the dream that came, it, it repeated for two, three times, you know, same dream, same timing in the night, like 3.30 or 4 o'clock and it was so evident, like, you know, that the great power was telling you did a lot of, because in four days I did massively, I did, I literally got addicted doing that first day and then second day I said, oh, then I extended my stay in Kumbagonam. We do a lot of money, bought a lot of food and I just kept giving, giving, giving. And I went to temple, didn't go inside or see the God. I only felt happiness giving all the people outside, you know, a lot of food, a lot of food, water, juice and just everything. And there were many uh, who were, uh, you know, uh, roadside beggars who didn't have a bed sheet. It was very cold that time. Okay. Then in the evening, I and, uh, you know, one of my good friend Prabhakar, we went to a shop there and got around 100 to 200 bed sheets gave to everybody so it, it was like you know trying to cover up all their needs like food money and many were uh, on the roadside highways many were working on the road uh, you know in the in the uh, in the hot tar so then we went and bought, bought a bunch of uh, slippers and gave it to them so a lot of uh, you know bananas fruits to monkeys and other animals so that five days was amazing 
Now I'm like, okay, I came to temple, but I didn't go to temple at all. That's fine. I'll go later. But this happiness it gave, you know, it just definitely was a turning point. It op- it was overriding the temple. It was overriding the temple and everything else. You know, it was also instantly telling me to clean your karma, do the dharma. So as there is a famous saying in Tamil, karma mai poga vai ka dharma sai. So you know, nothing is as powerful tool as you know doing charity, dana and dharma to eliminate, mitigate, reduce your karma than anything else. So all these years, in th- this point which I told you instinctively, I came now and say, came back from the door. It was like, God, okay, this is what you're supposed to do. You're good at, so continue doing that. So I'll do, I'll, I'll take care of, you know, your karma. So that that was a brill- definitely a turning point. Turning point, I don't know, it might not sound as interesting to many because people say people would say, you know, uh, a big house or a big car and suddenly this happened. I mean, that's still materialistic. For me, this has really, you know, shown me the secret way to clean your karma and keep increasing your positive points and manifest whatever you want with just your thought. That's the power of, you know, charity, which I'm really experiencing and will experience forever. In fact, uh, you mentioned about Prabhakar, your friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I, while, just before this interview, I was also talking to him. A little bit of research from my end as to what, what exactly has Swati done during his journey of charitable days. You know, when he proactively started doing things. So Prabhakar was mentioning that one of the Arupadai Vido, the six, one of the six holy temples uh, of uh, Murugan, uh, you know, while you were going from Kumbakonam to that place, uh, you had a mystical experience of all the sadhus, feeding all the sadhus. Correct. Uh, can you just explain that? Uh, sure, sure. That was on the way to Tirparankuntam. I, I think that's where he got married. Um, I That's think, correct. Correct. Yeah. Near Madurai. Yeah, correct, correct. So we first uh, went to Piliarpati. Our plan was to go to the uh, Murugan in the seashore, Tirchandur. Okay. But I think it was on the way there. We thought, okay, why not we also go there? And then it was uh, in around 1 o'clock and the temple got closed. <laughs> but then I was, you know, not a bit upset that the temple was closed because I got some other joy. <laughs> so I was seeing a lot of sadhus sitting there swarming around me and they were all asking for food. And how, wherever I go, I don't know how they choose, you know, anybody wants to, they there just come no. to me. I mean, yeah, they, they get attracted to me. Uh, I don't know, somewhat they feel I will help. I would love to give. They know my inner desire that I want help. Somehow they miss everybody and come here. Uh, that's also a great feeling. And then, okay, I said, I took them all into that uh, hotel for lunch, around 40 or 50 sadhus and beggars. I took everybody inside and then the hotel day was a little rough. As, as, as anybody would be like, you know, they should not come inside or they don't have money. I said, I'm going to give you money, so just shut up and feed. So never underestimate or insult anybody. So sure. somehow I spoke to him and then they all sat in one corner. So they had a great, you know, feast. I made sure they were full, full, full. And then got parcel for them for the evening for everybody. And then gave a lot of money to each to like 101 rupee for everybody around 50 people. <laughs> And then they ate, went, then they just called all their friends again. So I said, don't worry how much ever it is, no, just uh, come on in and have a great feast. So they all had, and one uh, sadhu, I think he's a genuine sitter in a God's form. So you know, he just spoke to me, he just stood up, he called me, and then you know he blew his conch very loud. So all the hotel guys got scared because something's going <laughs> to <something's gonna> happen here. <laughs> <Right. laughs> And then, you know, he started telling some Shiva Mantra. Uh, it was amazing. So he told me, you know, many of your doshas are gone now, you know, for all the uh, help that you have been doing, medically, financially, food and everything. So the Ishwan has been watching everything and uh, whatever little doshas you had, that is also cleared now. <laughs> I think you are coming from Vinayagar, Palayapati. And next is you are going to see his little brother in the Sisho Tirchandur. So may everything happen good. So that was amazing. We don't know who is, was just one part of beggar we thought and then he's the chief beggar, something like <laughs> that. But then he looked, you know, quite pious and uh, quite saintly like. Right, a sadhu. Correct. And then the Tamil, uh, you know, the, the mantras he said, which is completely of the old nature, right from like Agastya type of uh, right. Tamil, which you would not understand. But definitely I know, you know, it, it was something uh, magical that happened. Where he knew where we are coming from, where we are going to go. And then, you know, a little bit of future, uh, he was just able to pinpoint, closing his eyes, he just, uh, top wise he was telling. So I was really, definitely floored. And he said, continue doing this. This is the only thing that will save you. Just like how it saved Karna in Mahabharata. Oh, you know, nobody's curse, or not even gods can touch you when you have a lot of positive accumulation of charity. Correct. Because that's the protocol of uh, law of universe. So continue doing this good service. 
it's amazing mm-hmm. in fact actually sorry i find it so difficult to tell my clients uh, mm-hmm. you know when they come to me they are basically coming because they have a problem correct and when i just tell them that you know charity is something so important you do this along with your pujas mm-hmm. they just don't get convinced <coughs> about charity they just feel their problem needs to be fixed first and then they will help others Correct. So, uh, but very few uh, like you understand the fact that you know this is something that is a part of the journey. Definitely. Uh, yeah. That will contribute to the growth. This way. See, first people, we all need to understand why we are struggling. Straight away, you can't find a solution. There will be like shortcut. Probably you'll get a solution, but then it will come back and hit you somewhere else again. Okay? Right. Right. So why we are suffering is because we have made somebody else suffer. In the past Janma, or even you know, uh, uh, multiple past Janmas accumulated together, or in this Janma earlier, right? So the best thing when when somebody is really good, happy, successful, what do we say? Oh, he has a lot of. He's a punya. My, I think he has done a lot of punya. Correct. So what the punya means? People should understand that punya means doing good karma, as simple as that. Helping others. It can be animals or uh, humans, and the help can be of any nature. Medical, medical, medicinal help. Uh, donating for school studies. If nothing is possible, at least a little bit of food every week. That is what is called as karma. If both good and bad is called karma. So people, once we you know understand, uh, we are suffering because of we have been we have made some other lives uh, miserable. We have struggled. We have made somebody else struggle, and uh, you know which is why we are facing this. So the best thing is pujas, temples, all that is very good, no doubt. But this is the best. You know what? Because you are taking the thorn with the thorn, that is advantage here. Okay, so doing a puja and everything is fine for many. It will happen for few. It may not happen because their karma is still not ripe to enjoy that, or which is why it will not manifest. So you have to be first be eligible and increase your points, karmic points, which can only be easily done through charity, charity. helping others. Because yours will be in minus. So whatever puja you do, it is only slowly going up to reach zero. So until it reaches zero and then goes to positive, your wishes will not manifest. Correct. Right? You don't because you don't have any karma to train in with the God, uh, you know, for Him to you know uh, get back to you with points. With you having no positive karma, no matter what you do, it will not work. He cannot help you. It's not that He will not. He cannot help you. In fact, this is the story I had mentioned in one of my videos of Lord Shiva and Parvati, where Parvati is trying to and uh, persuade Shiva to help a beggar, mm-hmm. but Shiva is very clearly telling he has no good karma as with him. Absolutely. So, so. there's no, no way he can invoke exactly, that. Exactly. Exactly. No matter you do whatever huge, uh, you know, home or big thing. Yeah. So all those are only you know it's more self-oriented. All those are like you're asking something from the God and you're only putting a petition. But it will happen or not? It's not in our hands. It's not in our hands. Only in our karmic records. So the best thing, or the true experience, what I found is, I have done immense, uh, in uh, numerous yeah, amount of Almost all the pujas is there. Correct, correct. <laughs> so once I, the difference when I started doing it alone and the amount of time it took to manifest, and then when I started in the big spree of doing charity, charity. and then doing huma, the manifestation of speed was awesome. He he, he started clubbing uh, charity with uh, pujas. Which is when uh, you know he saw immense results. Very fast, man. Yeah. Because God will immediately respond to you because you have a lot of positive points. Just like you know, you you want a college seat unless you have good marks. The, you know the, the like college cannot give you. So how will you increase the marks? Is doing to charity. It's the yeah. fastest and easiest way. And people say, if I have money, I will do. Come on, if you don't have money, then you are also a beggar. Will you go and sit? No, yeah, right. everybody has money. The same thing my friend told. I told him, okay, you don't have money. Now, doesn't mean you have to do everything big for you to have so much money to do, right? Within your limits, you can do charity easily. What monthly thousand rupees can't you afford? Just thousand rupees. With thousand rupees, you can feed ten people. Keep doing that. The law of universe is to repay you back ten times. Very soon, if you do this regularly, very soon you will see in you know a different source of uh, you know uh, opportunity coming in somewhere somehow. You know, you're stuck money or out of the blue, there's some something will happen. Because you have given, the universe has to return. You know, when you feed them, you know their uh, stomach is full, their heart is full, and then they bless you they with bless. so much thing. That blessing is called good karma. So that is going to help you manifest you whenever you are really in need of. Once it comes back, give again. So that's what I told God. You know, I, I I usually speak to him, right? Like anybody else, I told him, you know, in my salary, whatever it is, fifteen to twenty percent, or at least ten percent every month, compulsively, I'll keep it only for charity. And then take my car, go to temples. Uh, and then I have a lot of contacts in, uh, you know, Kumbakonam, Coimbatore, Bangalore also. So and then there are a lot of friends who I help. So I tell them, okay, see, just like how I help you. If you have anybody else, your friend who is genuinely suffering, please redirect them to me. And then they do it. Recently, I did one, you know, 
uh, read it, this uh, breast cancer. So that was a great opportunity. Now we are able to afford that much amount for a full surgery because not because I have money. I, I earned that money through charity. charity. Even I, have anything. I was earning 500 rupees when I went to my first job. Even at that time, 100, 200 rupees, whatever it is, somebody asked, I'll give. Now I'm not asking everybody to give like that, but but you know, but but I can see how powerful that is over the period of time, how it changes life. Which Completely your horoscope will change, I'm telling you. Which is why I wanted you here today. Yeah. Just to tell that difference. See, uh, from, I, I've told in many of my videos that I know him, I know Swati since 2014. <laughs> And I also have mentioned in my videos, I learn a lot through my clients, uh, how to be, how not to be. And uh, yeah, with Swati's contacts and his uh, charitable bent of mind, I was very much inspired. And since then, we have been uh, doing charitable activities together. Uh, like he mentioned, we actually sponsored a, a breast cancer patient who had a child and a, she was abandoned by her husband. Um, so absolutely not nobody to support and uh, she had an ailing mother also and her sisters also don't have a job and things like that so such kind of families we sponsored the entire surgery for breast cancer and she's recovered well now kidney transplant and the most recent was as recent as two days back uh, Anita, uh, yes. kidney center. again uh, there is a coimbatore for kidney center where uh, a, a kidney transplant which costed around 8 lakhs uh, I think the doctor managed to arrange most part of it. I think uh, the, some part of like uh, one and a half lakhs or something, uh, she sought our help and uh, they called Swati for uh, help and he, he reached out to me and we to get together, uh, you know, contributed and we also raised funds through our acquaintance and like-minded people. Whatever little contribution it was, it was great because the transplantation, the process was so smooth and she's recovering now. She's still in intensive care. but. She's doing well. It was a it was a successful uh, surgery. Body has not rejected it, luckily. So. Uh, yeah, and body slowly getting adapted to the uh, kid, new kidney. Correct. And even the donor is fine because uh, her and mother mom. only uh, you know donated the kidney. Amazing experience. Okay. All and then school is. fees. So <laughs> that was good. Everything you know, if it comes. Everything will come at once. But luckily, God's grace, you know, we were able to afford. See why he is uh, enthusiastically telling this is because. It's a test for us. It's not easy when we both decide and say, yeah, we'll do the charitable activities and all that. We'll, I mean, at least I used to have a monthly budget and I would say I'll do this much minimum every month. So for quite a few months, I was able to do the same um, budget. But God also raises your bar and threshold to see whether your intention is to maintain the budget or to help. <laughs> and my God, this month was crazy because uh, suddenly we got this kidney patient, we got the breast cancer, uh, we got the school fee. And then uh, Honeybee, of course, uh, only Swati did that. Uh, he didn't even tell me. Uh, he mm -hmm. just he just wanted to. He just he contributed and he said he sent me the picture and he said he did that. Yeah, it was very emergency. So I... correct, he didn't have time. And the knee surgery also was completely mm -hmm. taken over by Swati. So yeah. so that way, if you see, this month was like uh, it was crazy. The kind of expenses we, if you look at it that way, that we had. But then we realized that you know it's more than the monthly budget. It's the cost. It is the. This is a divine investment. Uh, Absolutely. Right? You know, this this the return, the favor it's going to come back to us, it is it's priceless. Because the universe knows when we need the help back. You know, we might have a lot of problem in the future, Sade, Sati or Kochara. If where it is really required, these blessings will come back. That I, reminds time and again I've seen it, experienced it. Amazing. That reminds me, uh, in fact the entire last two and a half years was Ardash Shani for Swati and I think he's done his best in the last two and a half years. Exactly. He, yeah. uh, I don't think Gochara or any of those things ever touched him. Correct. Since the beginning I had Janma Guru, Janma Raho, a 10th Guru, Janma Raho, Janma Shani, Sade Sati finish, now 4th. I'm, 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 I'm asking as ever. Yeah. So, <laughs> he, is, he continues to give, he continues to do pujas, he continues to travel to these temples and um, uh, not just that, I think being associated with him because he has the charitable point of mind, people reach out to him. So the many temples also reached out to him uh, asking for idols. Yeah, so Panchaloha Panchaloha idols, I think I have made one video on that. How many idols, what all idols did you give Swati? Uh, Shanmohar uh, with Vali Devane. Eh? Uh, to a temple in Tirpatur, and then uh, Narasimha, and then Chakra Tarawar, okay, and then Hanuman, and then Ganesha, and Rahu Ketu, and then uh, Sadda Matrikas, and then uh, Nagarani, uh, Serpent Queen, right. and then what else I have to think? We did the Mari Mari simply. Exactly, yeah.